Today we'll be talking about community health centers and first responders strengthening communities through education. The first responder has a very specific role and it's a very time limited role, but it can be an incredibly powerful role in terms of the experience of the individual in crisis. Part of the crisis intervention training is to, is to take a step back, assess the situation. If you're able to develop a rapport with that individual, wait for your backup. Um, obviously, if, if it appears to be some sort of medical issue or drug-induced issue, contact fire rescue services immediately to get them started so that when we do finally get that person into protective custody, you know, we can give them the appropriate treatment they need. Access to regular mental health, it's just like seeing the dentist, just like seeing primary care. There shouldn't be a stigma attached to it. And as long as it's early, if you wait until you're having chest pain, yeah, you're gonna have a harder time of it. If you take good care of yourself on the front end, you know, won't have as many complications. We can keep you at work, keep you in the game, keep you at play. You know, hurt people hurt people. So my biggest thing is um, that for people, as individuals, communities, organizations, and first responders, is we all need to take care of each other. These people are good. They understand what you're going through, and they'll help you in the way they can. It's probably one of the most rewarding things I've done on this job, and, I, and I've done a little bit of everything on the job, but you know, there's nothing like helping somebody.